Here we go in a rematch of Super Bowl 48. The Seahawks and Broncos are underway. And he will make it to the 20 yard line and no further. The Seahawks take over first and 10 at their own 20 yard line. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. There you go! I think it's fair to say there's nothing that gets a crowd to its feet quite like a big play, and that was something special there. Boy, was he moving. And that's the kind of play where you have to kind of catch your breath afterwards and just give me a second here because when he shifted into high gear, he was an absolute blur out there. No substitute for speed. We talk about that all the time. The evidence was right there. And the next-gen stats show him reaching at a top speed of 20 miles an hour. One play has him to the 37 here for first and 10. And to give this time to the tailback. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half to about the 39. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. Frustrating for a defense, energizing for an offense. Finding a way to create that type of yardage in your running game, that'll make the guys carrying the ball very, very happy. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he's got the first down yardage before being taken down at midfield. They're able to convert with a gain of four. Defense had a chance to get off the field here in the opening drive, couldn't do it. I know that we go into these meetings with coaches and sometimes maybe we can get, you know, a little bit numb because they're always going to talk about how important third down is, aren't they? Offense and defense. In this case, one capitalized and the other, as you said, had a chance to get off the field and didn't get it done. on the play and it'll make it second down and they're getting him involved early you feel like they saw something on tape or they just have a sense with him because he's had a good week of practice or something in that area that they want him involved just as you said they want him to touch it either in the running game or the passing game but they must like the matchups they're getting six yards was the pickup on the last completion so here's second and four there's Wilson Dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. That one, a first down pickup of eight. We're scoreless after one. With no score. So from the 36 now, first and 10. And he'll give it here to his running back. Nothing doing. Barely able to muster a yard to hit the 35. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. One yard gain. Brings up second and nine. And to give this time to the tailback. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Now a handoff here to his running back. Two minutes on the clock in what's been a scoreless first half. A reminder coming up at halftime, we'll check in with our Jonathan Coachman. He'll have highlights and analysis of the first half, and our highlights will likely be on the defensive side of the football here. Scoreless game. Not much there, only a yard. 
Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. Sets him up nicely, first and goal. It was a pickup of 14. The impressive opening drive continues and just space being created by those guys up front. We're seeing this the same way, aren't we? We are seeing an offensive line as this game gets started, as it starts to unfold, that they are dominating the line of scrimmage. So first and goal from the nine yard line. Give it here to his running back. And a short pick up there down to about the nine. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up second and goal. Defensively, pretty good start there with their backs against the wall. That's a win for the stop troops right there. And if I'm them, I get a little bolder now. They won the first battle. Keep coming after them. Put the pressure on them. Now the Seahawks going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. This has been a long drive. you got to figure a field goal would be a letdown. Can they convert now? And he is in for the Seattle touchdown. A six-yard touchdown run. And the Seahawks take the ball down the field and score on the opening drive. And that touchdown gives them a touchdown lead before they attempt the extra point. What a great way to end the half. Yeah, great job to put themselves in front. And now, see on the sideline, special teams defense scrambling, saying we want to preserve this for the final moments of this second quarter. Jason Myers now for the extra point. This will give the Seahawks a 7 to nothing lead. That one was an extended drive. 14 plays all told. And it's capped off by a touchdown run of six yards. Michael Dixon to kick off for Seattle. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. To return it, here's Deontay Spencer. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. Return. The Broncos take over first and 10 at their own 24-yard line. Block now on first down. That's going to be caught by Judy. Now the Broncos are going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. To throw again on second down. Lock. This is intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Bobby Wagner. And they'll spot him at the three-yard line. Time to go to work. Let's go. You're trailing. You're trying to get points late in half. I absolutely understand that. But remember, it's all about the ball. And without the ball, you can't get those points. They just turned it over. Now you got to be careful because that deficit can get a little bigger on the other side with that good field position they just took over with. Suddenly it's first and goal after the interception. A quick change in the situation here. They'll try to run this one in. And he's going to get this back to the three-yard line and no further. Bradley. Now the Seahawks call the second of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. On second and goal, they'll give it to him again. And he will score. Touchdown, Seattle. A great effort there. With a second touchdown here in this first half. And the Seahawks find a way to stretch their lead. CD for them. This has just been an offensive explosion here in the second quarter. Yeah, held scoreless in the first quarter. Now they find the end zone again here in the second. Sometimes you just have to have some patience. A lot of people think it's always an adjustment. You have to change what you're doing. Sometimes you just have to do your game plan just a little bit better. And I think that's part of what we're seeing here. And it's good to make it 14-0. They had the short field, and they made quick work of it. Just two plays to get into the end zone. How does the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away? 
On the return is Spencer. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The Broncos take over first and 10. At their own. So now the second drive offensively coming up for the Denver Broncos. You've got less than 30 seconds left here in the half. You're well on your own side of the field. What are we doing here, Coach Davis? Well, I'm trying something on first down. And it's something that's safe. It's something that's been done many times before. A lot of people say it's not even worth trying, but I'm running a draw. I'm running a screen. I'm seeing if something pops. And if it does, that can alter my strategy and potentially get me some points. And if it doesn't work, well, then you just run the clock out and go to the locker room. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. Back to the air on second down. It's locked into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Bobby Wagner. starting field position you could possibly have. First and goal from the one. They'll try to run this one in. And he is in for the Seattle touchdown. A great play there as the first half is winding down. And the Seahawks are able to stretch that lead out a bit further. So simple math here, the first half, they've had three drives offensively and they have scored every time and they've got the lead. Well, whenever we talk about adjustments, we usually talk about an offense making adjustments, right? This is all about the defense. They've got to figure out some way, somehow to slow them down. Do they blitz a little bit more? Do they play more zone coverage? Right now, they don't know where to go because they're hitting them in every direction. The extra point now coming from Myers. And it is now 21 to nothing. Well, they got the ball in great field position. One play later, boom, end zone. 